Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel and today I have a Stitch Fix. I'm going to open it up, get the items out, read the card, and be right back with you just like that. And here they are. Alright, the first item is a blouse by Skyzer Blue. And um, they call this pink, but this is not pink. This is a deeper coral. It's got no sleeves, but the sleeves are shorter. And it is a button up there. And it's just got a little, uh, I shouldn't say a little, it's got a, a, a sparse floral print. And it says that this is $54. It's the Skyzer Blue Devon button top detail. Yeah, it looks like a shirt I had last time that was beige with I think pink and blue flowers on it, and, but I think it was long sleeve. All right, so the next item is by 41 Hawthorne. It's the Adelina Knit Surplus Jumpsuit <coughs> in navy for $54. So same price for the jumpsuit. Okay, there's something. Oh, the tag is stuck in something. All right, so this is sort of that jersey knit kind of fabric, sleeveless it appears. Um, yeah, the front looks just like the um, maxi dresses that they sent last time and the time before. Only it is pants, it is a jumpsuit. So I'll be interested to see how this is. Yeah, I, it's not my favorite fabric, but you know, give it a try. All right, so next is yellow. That is Market and Spruce Sterling Denim Jacket. Okay, well it's more of a gold than a true yellow. In fact, I don't think, I think it's more of a fall color than, yeah, I'm better with the springy yellow. It's cute. I mean, I like the way it's made. It's nice. Um, price is $48, so it seems like a nice price. I don't think I would get a lot of wear out of this color, but um, we'll give it a try, right? Always try them on. All right, so next there are two pairs of shorts, both described as light blue. This is the Market and Spruce pair, called the Sabrina High Rise Chinos in light blue 20W, $48. Yeah, they look like they might be a little short. High rise, huh? That means I might have too much in the, some crotch and droop in them or something, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. And so the other pair is the NYDJ Suprina High Rise Chino. I know, <laughs> the Briella denim shorts, sorry. Light blue 20 to $69. Okay, so these are denim shorts and they're the light color. I already have a pair. Of course, mine have some distressing. Not my favorite color of denim because they take on a grayish hue almost. But those are the items. Oh, sorry. So we'll get them tried on and see how they look. Be right back. Okay, first item is the denim jacket, which is nice. I mean, and it fits well enough to wear. I could button it. It's thick. It's warm. It has some warmth to it. Yeah, it's a denim jacket. <laughs> Just in kind of a, a very goldy yellow. And it's got the, you know, pockets and the sleeve buttons and these buttons, they're all these heavy duty buttons. Yeah, it's nice. But, uh, yeah. All right, let's look at the jumpsuit. The jumpsuit's kind of cute, actually. But because I'm so short waisted, I've got a lot going on down here. And in fact, my husband even noticed it when I said, what do you think of this? He said, it's really droopy down there. So it's got pockets. So it's very comfy. Very, very comfy. If you want to see the details, it has this wide band here. And yeah. It's, uh, I almost thought at first maybe it was a petite size because this band is really high up here. But no, I think that's just, you know, just the cut of it that then go down. Yeah, it's very cute. It's very comfy. I think the price is good. But it does have an awful lot of droop. And according to my husband, you could see that from the back too. I don't know because I can't I can't see my backside all that well, so I have to rely on him. But yeah, he said you can see the droop and not just in the front but in the back. So if you had a lot down here to cover up, that'd probably be like nice to have that extra. Yeah. All right. So let's jump into the next item. 
All right, second outfit. Here's the top. Yeah, it's got these, which I don't care for at this length. They were all the way here, maybe. But you can see the buttons. And I think you're getting a pretty good idea in the camera what this color really is. They call it pink, but I don't think so. Here's a view of the back. And then there is the shorts. All right, ladies. Okay, and they are the shorter shorts, for sure. I'll step back and you can see. And I don't have any droop in them. Not really. Um, they're definitely high-waisted because my belly button is there. <laughs> so for me, they're super high-waisted. Uh, yeah, they, uh, they're not tight, but when I walk, they felt like they were... I don't know, pulling somewhere or something? I don't know, it's hard to explain. They do have a pretty ample derriere. I'll show you the back of them, speaking of. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, they pull down just a little here because I can feel my underwear showing just a little bit there. So I have the feeling my butt's just a little big for them, uh, which then pulls here. So, yeah, they're nice. I don't know if I need them, but they're nice. And they are pretty short. So, the dogs will give me some space here. Let's jump into the next outfit. <laughs> okay, so, last pair of shorts. I have one side rolled up, one side down. The fit is pretty good on them. Got a little bit extra here. But it's not really falling in the crotch, just like the last one. The extra is more in the belly area, maybe. Show you the back of them. I don't know how they look from the back. They feel okay though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not crazy about this color of shorts. Um, like I say, I have one and it's really washed out already. But yeah, this is them. They're comfy. The fit is pretty good. And I do have some other DK and Y or not. Wait. Not your daughter, <laughs> NYDJ before. Uh, I've got some already. Uh, they, they tend to stretch a lot when I wear them, by the way. I don't know about what they do for everybody else. But anyway, so next, let's find out what's going to go in the hanger and what's going to go in the back. Okay, I'm back. So let's find out what is going in this bag and what is going to go on the hanger. Uh, one thing I forgot to look at was the style card, which is their suggestion on how to style things. So let me just take a look at that for a minute. Okay, so there were no revelations from looking at that that made it any easier to make a decision <laughs> than what I've made. All right, so the first item up is the denim jacket. And while it's nice, it is not a color that I enjoy wearing or that I think would match anything that I have. Um, if this were more of a you know, a pastel yellow, a real yellow and less goldy. It might work for me, but it is gonna be the first item in the bag. Next up is the jumpsuit, which I think if it fit better, could be cute. Uh, I would really prefer jumpsuits to be in a more um, solid color. And I think they always have a little bit of droop in the crotch, but apparently this one was pretty bad in that it also did it in the back. My husband called it, I think, clownish or something. And I kind of got a little bit of that vibe from the front. But yeah, it's very cute. But if you're longer waisted or maybe have just a little more in the midsection or something to fill it in a little, take it up, something. But yeah, not for me. All right, so next are these shorts. And I think these are cute. However, I don't want any of this short. I already have a pair, a couple pair that are short and I find I've been wearing them, but I'm not as comfortable wearing them as I am something that's a little closer to the knee. But I do like the idea of these. If the same short, a little longer, I would like it. I'm going to send them back, but I do very much like them. The next pair is this pair. And I just don't think I need another pair of denim shorts. And like I said, I'm not crazy about the lighter colored ones. I kind of like the dark or mid wash a little bit better. So these are going back as well. Sorry for the noise. And then finally, the top. Yeah. I don't like these kind of sleeves. 
with the elastic, the just the turned over elastic, unless they're the long ones. And yeah, I just don't see myself wearing this much. So this also is going in the bag, which leaves us with nothing. It's all going back to Stitch Fix. I appreciate that Stitch Fix uh, gave me so much time on this because I've had this a long time. And um, I got it, I think, you know, right as I tested positive for COVID. And so I didn't even want to open the box until today. And today is November 2nd, and I think I tested positive on October 18th. So I just asked for an extension to October 31st, I think I asked for. And so today they sent me a reminder. So I think that Stitch Fix was very kind in that. I didn't even tell them this because I had COVID, but I didn't want to touch any of their stuff, you know. So anyway, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope that you will like it and subscribe to the channel. Um, I didn't go into the details of Stitch Fix, but it's a subscription box and you can look them up online. I'll put a link down below so you can look them up online. Thanks.